Good morning, Santa Clara Snapchat. My name is Elena Lenardi. I am currently a student here at Santa Clara, and today I will be taking over Snapchat to show you a little bit what it's like to be a living, breathing student here at Santa Clara. So a little bit about myself before we get started. I am currently a junior here, studying uh, communications and minoring in entrepreneurship. So a little bit about where I am from. Uh, I was born in Brazil, raised in Houston, Texas, and then about three years ago, my family immigrated back to South America. So my current home base is Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, so yeah, I definitely know what it's like to be far away from family and far away from home. So um, a little bit about the things that I do uh, throughout my day or throughout my three years here at Santa Clara. I've been involved in ASG, which is our Associate Student Government. I served as social media chair. I'm also involved in campus ministry. I'm a part of the honors program. I'm involved in off-campus Greek life. And last quarter, I studied abroad. So if you have any questions about those things, please feel free to ask. So a lot of people have been asking me about my study abroad experience. Uh, mine was a little bit different just because I actually went home to study abroad uh, to Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I lived with my parents. Um, it was a great experience and I absolutely loved it. But that being said, we do have over 93 programs in 39 countries. So I have friends who studied abroad in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, South Korea, Japan, Barcelona, Spain, um, Chile. So really anywhere that you wanna go, there's a good chance that we do have a study abroad program there. About one fourth of our students go to study abroad. And something to keep in mind is that to study abroad here at Santa Clara, you do have to apply to the program. Santa Clara does this to make sure that the classes that you're taking while abroad are going to give you credit and make sure that you still graduate on time. So the application is a little bit competitive, but that being said, one fourth of the students do end up going. COM 110 is quantitative research methods and we're learning about how to do research and communication and learning about how to be critical consumers of scientific information. Awesome. Hi, my name is Sydney and I work as an ambassador um, and I'm answering a question about cars on campus your first year. I did not have a car on campus my first year as a student here. You're not allowed to have a car on campus your first year. Um, but I had a couple friends who were sophomores or juniors who had cars. Um, if we wanted to go to Santa Cruz or go um, into Campbell or anything like that to kind of get around. So you're able to make it work definitely without having a car on campus. So about 50% of our student body is not Catholic, so you're not alone there. And for one thing, our classes aren't just Catholic. Like you can take classes in like East Asian traditions or other religions like Buddhism, Islam, Judaism. And then on top of that, you have like the multi-faith sanctuary in St. Joseph's, and that's for use for all these different religions too. Then we also have different organizations like the Jewish Student Association, the Muslim Student Association, and so forth. And campus ministry is always out there really making programs for people that aren't just Catholic, like interfaith dinners and things like that too. So hopefully that helps answer that. So I have received a good amount of uh, questions in regards to my entrepreneurship minor. Um, so you do not declare a minor when you are applying to Santa Clara. You actually declare it once you're already here. So I declared my minor at the beginning of my sophomore year. And I basically just had to go through an application process online each minor is different. Some minors require you to go through an interview process as well, but for the entrepreneurship minor, um, I did not have to. I just had to apply online. And I decided to study entrepreneurship just because I wanted to take advantage of the fact that Santa Clara is in Silicon Valley, home to a lot of startups and a lot of opportunities in the entrepreneurship world. One of the things that I really like about the minor are the classes that I've taken. Um, they are very hands-on. A lot of projects, like building a new business, is one of the classes I'm taking right now. Uh, next quarter, I have to take an internship class where Santa Clara places... Sorry, I was cut off because my response was too long. But um, <clears throat> I do have to take an internship class next quarter where Santa Clara places me in an internship. 
in a startup uh, here in the Silicon Valley and I meet with the class once a week and we discuss what we learned. So yes, I absolutely love the minor. I definitely recommend it and um, I wouldn't trade it, trade it for the world. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm a junior at Santa Clara and I'm studying political science and women and gender studies. Um, and I'm gonna answer what I like to do on the weekend around here. Um, typically on the weekends, I like to go to the farmer's market. Um, I'll go to yoga, go for a walk, go for a run. Um, I like going to the rose gardens, um, have a picnic with my friends. Yeah, just, you know, so much fun things to do around here. <laughs> Uh, so you can apply for the honors program in two different ways. Either when you're accepted to Santa Clara, they will send you a little email that says, hey, we think you'd be a great candidate for the honors program. Uh, and then there will be a small little application that you complete there. Or um, if you are not in the honors program during your first year, you can also apply in after that first year. Uh, and then you'll be an incoming second year uh, honors student. And there's a few different re requirements for that. So I just got out of my second class for the day and now I'm on my way to work. Um, I am a student ambassador, so I give tours here on campus. And every other Tuesday we meet as a group to learn more about our school. Awesome, um, thanks for the question. I think the workload in Santa Clara is very manageable. It just depends on how you want to manage your time. So we're on the quarter system, meaning that we have 10 weeks of instruction and your 11th week are your finals week. So you could have um, midterms anywhere between weeks three or week nine. Right now we're in week three and I have a midterm in two days. So I'm a, a little bit stressed about that, but that's okay. Um, with that being said, there's so many resources like your professors, or the drama center to help you with planning your schedule um, but personally i think the workload is manageable as long as you manage your time well Woo. <laughs> okay everyone so i just got out of a movie night with my friends and i am heading home to go to bed i just want to thank everyone for following me along today and um, just know that if you have any questions or anything else that I can help you with, that I will be leaving my email and my Instagram. So yeah, thank you so much. Good night.